So I have this quality that by nature, I'm always very skeptical. So whenever I hear companies say, hey, you can actually buy this now, take it home with you, and basically pay me later, no interest, basically free, just pay it back in four payments and basically you are done. It sounds too good to be true, and whenever that happens, it usually is too good to be true. So for this video right here, I'm gonna tell you exactly all the dangers that actually come along with buy now, pay later apps and credit cards and programs and all these other things that every single company right now is actually trying to do. And by the way, I actually did this stuff a while back and I'm gonna break it down here in this video and how I almost fell for this trick right here. Now as always guys, like this video on top of that. Also if you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified. Now back in the day when I actually did this, I think if I'm not mistaken, okay, the first company I saw doing this was actually PayPal back in the day, and I remember it because I actually used their program, and the program was actually a lot better than it actually is today, because it was basically, if you bought something that cost more than $99, you had six months to pay it off interest-free. Now, for the life of me, I cannot tell you what I actually bought, but the truth is, I bought something, and I got lucky that I paid off 100% interest-free within those six months, and that was in the clear. Now, this wasn't the only time I did this, now that I remember, I actually also did this with Mattress Firm, okay? Mattress Firm had a program, they gave you like this whole credit card thing, and you could actually buy a mattress, and they gave me three years to pay it off interest-free. Now, if I didn't pay it off interest-free, then obviously I would have to start paying interest, but it really wasn't that simple, because here's what I actually learned, all right? What I learned was that there was a massive catch. The catch was the interest was always being accumulated during that lifetime of I actually had this whole loan, all right? So for those three years, or for those six months, I was accumulating interest. Now, that means if I did not pay within six months or within three years, all that interest would be charged to me all at once. And then that whole balance would actually be due. That's how this game actually works. Now, Tommy, that's back in the day. What about the modern stuff, okay? We have all this stuff with a firm and with all these other companies. They even give you a virtual card. You're able to buy these things. And the answer is, simplicity says, these are just installment loans, all right? And the basic idea is they give you like this whole grace period to pay it off. But if you don't pay it off, you get charged a fee and you also get charged interest, all right? Now, the fee can be anywhere from zero to 25%. Now, this basically means that, hey, I agreed to buy this item, I didn't pay it off on time, and now I'm being charged I'm being charged a fee if I didn't even pay it, all right? 25% of the purchase price, that is a lot of money. Now, if I'm being charged interest, I can be charged interest for 12 months of zero to 36%. That is still a lot of money too, all right? Whenever you're buying something and you're paying interest, you're losing value, guess what? It is not a good deal. And I guarantee that most of the things you actually buy or have bought in the past, look at your credit card, all right? Now, without looking at your credit card, like all the details, look at the balance. And you tell me, do you remember all the things you actually bought? Most people actually don't, okay? Because it's just kind of almost like mindless without using your brain. You just basically swipe left, swipe right. I'm not trying to offend anybody because I also did that in the past, but you have to be very careful. And that's why today, I don't have a single credit card and I don't have any debt whatsoever. I live a debt-free lifestyle because it's just a lot more simple and it's also a lot more beneficial when it comes to actually building wealth. Now, here's an example I actually want to paint for you guys, okay? Let's say, for example, I'm in the market to buy myself some AirPod max all right now these airpods by the way they look fancy and which is great stuff but they cost 550 dollars to me it's actually insane now if apple i think apple actually has a program with their credit card and it basically is that you got like six months to pay it off interest free with their credit card which is actually just a way to motivate you to buy things in their website okay that's what they basically do but in this sense i could actually go to one of those programs and i say hey I can buy these AirPods Max and pay them off in four payments. Now, how does that work? The answer is they split up in four payments. So if it's $550 divided by four, I'm looking at around $137 every single time, all right? So off the bat, 
when you buy at checkout, you're going to be charged $137.50. Then two weeks later, you have to pay another $137.50. Then two more weeks later, same amount, two more weeks later, same amount. And then in those four payments, you finish paying it off and that's going to be fully interest free. <laughs> now, most people, obviously, they don't do that. They end up, for example, missing a payment or having to actually move on to just a full blown, like normal loan and pay it off little by little within one year or so. Okay. Now the company has a major benefit here. I'm always trying to figure out how does the company benefit from offering people these deals to take things home with them? Well, the answer is the business itself makes money. Now I went on this PayPal article. I think I have the link right here and I actually want to show you guys. Okay. So I actually found this PayPal article and I want to show you guys. Okay. So here's the article and I was trying to figure out exactly, well, how does these companies, how do they actually benefit? And it says it right here. This actually helps you grow yourselves with buy now, pay later. Because you know why? Because people become insensitive to the purchase price. They only become sensitive to what the payment actually is. Now this basically means more people are willing to shell out $550 for some headphones, $220, um, buying whatever it is, because guess what? They can just buy now and then pay later. So for the business, that grows their business. And then for the financing company, that gets them a new customer. And usually it's for small amounts, but even even if you're lending small amounts of money, well, if you're charging them high amounts of interest, the answer is you make good money. And even as people pay you back, most people will not pay you back. That basically gets you interest. I thought credit cards make money, okay? You ever wondered, all right, you always people running in there and say, hey, credit cards are smart. You get to build up points. They offer you all these things because most people, they're not actually going to pay it off in full every single month. Most people just end up being stuck. Now, overall, guys, what is my advice here? All right. What do I recommend you actually do? Now, overall, guys, what do I recommend you actually do with this information? The answer is I don't do the whole like buy now, pay later. All right. I don't I don't do the whole debt thing. And the answer is, you know, a lot of people, they get stuck in this cycle of borrowing money and getting into debt. You know, most people, they will be in debt with their credit cards. Like that's just like some normal debt. They might have some sort of loan debt on top of that. They might have, for example, some like a, like a car loan or whatever. And then now you're borrowing money to buy things online that you definitely don't need. So I have a simple rule to make sure I don't fall for these things. And the answer is I only buy things I can afford to pay for in cash. And on top of that, along with that rule, I only buy things that will not cause me to lose sleep at night. Now, this basically means, okay, now theoretically, I could say, you know, I have enough money out there to go ahead and buy myself, you know, those new um, VR headset by Apple, the ProVision headsets. It costs around $3,500 with tax, it'll be a bunch more money, but I could go ahead and pay for that in cash. Now, will that cause me to lose sleep? In a sense, it kind of will, because I'll be like, yo, I just bought this thing for $3,500 and all it does is allow me to pinch something, look at a movie through my eyes and just makes no sense. All right. So if something makes you feel that way, I just won't buy it. If I can't afford to pay cash for it, I just won't buy it. And this way I just don't get into debt and I don't play these stupid games. All right. So the answer is be very careful. Avoid this at all costs. It's just a way to motivate you to take action very quickly because you can just pay it later. Right. And guess what is interest free. Don't worry about it. But most, most people, including yourself, including myself, if I end up getting stuck in all these games, you will fail at a certain point and it will cost you money. So in my opinion, it's just actually not worth it. And I will avoid it like the plague. Thanks for watching this video guys. And by the way, I don't just mean like with the popular ones, like the PayPal one, um, like, um, like all the other accounts out there, I mean with all of it, just, 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 just avoid it. It's just not worth it. All right. Four payments, three payments, 20 payments, 12 months, 18 months, two years to pay something off. Just doesn't make any sense. You know, here's the last example I want to use here. Um, when I bought that mattress at mattress firm and they gave me three years to pay it off, I was just thinking about the payments. The payments were like $40 or $50 a month. You know, um, you might think, Tommy, that's no money, right? But 50, well, 50 times 12, that's $600, right? Times three. Can you guess? I paid nearly $2,000 for this stupid mattress. 
Who pays that much money for a mattress? This is just ridiculous, all right? So the, the, the answer is, when you get stuck in this whole, like, um, I'm gonna borrow the money, I'm just worried about the payments, you get stuck in this idea of you stop looking at the purchase price, and that's the most important factor, right? Whether it's a car, whether it's whatever you're buying, you know, that's why whenever I'm buying something, I'm trying to figure out how can I save the most money here? You know, that's that's that should be your main goal. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, like, subscribe, help, 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 hit the bell so you get notified, and comment down below used so I know you made it all the way. Oh, no, no. Comment down below pay today <laughs> so I know you made it all the way to the end. Comment down below pay today. And as always, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified. Here's another video. Here's my face. Lindsay Rowe. As always, long term theme. Actually, yeah. I said, as always, like 15 times. I don't know why, but that's it.